Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our home on this beautiful Tuesday evening. We thank the Amen. Lord for His blessings. <laughs> welcome, Lorna. Welcome, Isaac. Welcome, Mom. And we welcome you, welcome you into our home. Amen. We pray God's welcome richest to blessing home. to each and every one of you. God bless you. Thank you for being here with us. Amen. I hope you've uh, invited somebody to join you on that watch party. And I pray that you're going to share this with somebody and let it be a blessing to them. Friends, we can only take this as far as what uh, you share it. And we've got to start sharing and being a blessing to others. And let us encourage others to also get onto the WhatsApp. Uh, friends, please, let's, let's help one another. Let's spread this gospel wider. Because many need to hear about Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome. And we say thank you to the Lord for his blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. God is so good, eh, Lorna? He's very good. He never leaves nor forsakes us. He is such a good God. And I want to say thank you for being with us here this evening. And uh, we know God's going to bless you. Let's just, let's just take this time now just to open up in prayer. And then we're going to go into a time of praise and worship. And then we're going to go into the Word. Amen. Father, we just bless you. We honor you, Lord God. We thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord God, that you never fail us. You are so faithful to us. Thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, you are our comforter. And Lord, if there's any needs, Lord God, in the congregation or those that are viewing, I pray, Lord God, that you meet them right now at the point of their need, I pray. Minister to them, Holy Spirit. Lord, we, we, we desire the leading of your Holy Spirit in everything that we do and say. Lord, have your perfect will and way in every one of our lives, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name. We want to come and give you praise and glory and honor. We love you, Lord God. Amen and amen. Let us sing as unto the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Come, it was the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God, come, come, now is the time to worship, come, now is the time to give your heart, come, just as you are. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. come to you, Lord. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord. We come to 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 you, Lord. Worthy King of Kings, Lord of 
Thank you, Jesus. We love being in your presence, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you, God. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to speak this out over you right now. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. God is for us and not against us. God loves you. Hallelujah. God will deliver us. God will bring us through. God's going to bring us through the stronger than what we ever were before. Hallelujah. Let your faith arise. Let your faith increase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, grow my faith. Hallelujah. Grow my faith, Lord. The faith, the size of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. You can say to that mountain, be thou removed. Say to this corona virus, be thou removed and be cast into the sea. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Use your faith. Exercise your faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, I want to say thank you that we can enjoy these times of refreshing. We can enjoy these times in your word. We can enjoy this time of fellowship here this evening. I give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. Thank you, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that, Lord, we we live in strange times. But I know, Lord God, that, Lord, this is not surprising to you. You are in control. And, Lord, you never leave nor forsake us. You are faithful. And you'll bring us through this victorious in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the name of the Lord. Thank you for that time of praise and worship, Lorna. Enjoying your full gospel mug. Yes, praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We love our church. Yes, we love our church. <laughs> And this we give was, God praise. This was uh, 2018 Mother's Day. Mother's Day 2018. When things were still normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a new normal now. Amen. Amen. And we say thank you to the Lord for His blessing. And uh, we give God thanks. Hallelujah. Friends, if you've got your Bible, I want you to turn to Hebrews chapter 11. And as I've been ministering to people through this 
this time, and friends, it has been a prolonged time, I've had to encourage people in their faith. And many have lost heart, many have lost uh, vision, many have lost their faith. But friends, I want you to know that through this difficult time, if I can give a title for what we're going to speak about now for the next couple of weeks, is building our faith Amen. during a time of we crisis. Need faith, we need strong faith. Amen. And friends, I want to encourage you not to lose heart, yes. but to have faith in God. Amen. What God says, He will do. Amen. And I want you to turn to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 through 2, 3. And it says here, from verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Friends, by His word. God has spoken a word over your life. Do you think God will not bring it to pass? If you have faith in God, Amen. He'll bring it to pass, eh, Lorna? Amen. Don't says, you just love that now faith? Yes. Not tomorrow faith. Now. Not next year I'll have faith. Amen. Yes, right now. 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 Right now. Not even a second from now. Walking in it. Let, let, let now you, faith Look what it says here. Is. Amen. Now faith is the substance or the realization. <laughs> it's got to come Many times we, we, we're hearing what God's Word says and we haven't seen it yet. But I want to say it's not yet come, but it's there. It's coming. It's going to come. It's going to break forth. And when, when, you, when you least expect it, you're going to see that miracle, what you've been asking of the Lord. It says it's the substance of things hoped for. Yes. Hope is a, something future. Have your faith and your trust Don't in the Lord. Don't lose hope. Don't lose. It is the evidence or it is the confidence mm. the evidence of things not seen Amen. for by it the elders obtained a good testimony you want to have a good testimony when you come out of yes. this that your children will say i saw mom and dad praying and thanking the lord they saw mom and dad have faith Amen. for food faith for provision let them see that good testimony by faith by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of Amen. things which are visible. Friends, our God is working behind the scenes Amen. for you and I. Amen. Amen. Don't you just love that it's faith is as simple as hope. That is not literally hope is embryonic faith. That's it. And if somebody loses hope, then that's bad. You know what faith is? So don't lose hope. It's the beginning of faith. Faith is the belief in the unseen. Faith, hope, and love. These Amen. three remain. Amen. Hope and faith, faith, is, faith is the belief in, the, in things unseen. Mm. We have got to start taking steps of faith. Mm. It says here in 2, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18 says, While... We do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Amen. I want you to know God is working on your behalf. For the things which are seen are temporary. I want you to know, friends, this time of coronavirus will pass. This time of lockdown shall pass. But it goes on and says here, yeah, but the things which are seen are eternal. Or, or, the things that are not seen are eternal. Stop looking at the things that you can see because those things are temporary start looking at Amen. god start having faith in god and i want to encourage us Hallelujah. to be men and women of faith people of faith yes god spoke the worlds into existence with words by faith it was it came into existence so 2 corinthians 5 7 says we walk by faith and not by sight that's right so we we have faith in God in the things of that are unseen. Mm. God is working on your behalf and my behalf behind the scenes and he's going to bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. So we give God all the praise for we do not walk uh, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So many people battle to believe mm. 
the things that they can't see. But friends, we walk by faith and not by sight. Let us have our faith and our trust in the Lord. Don't you he just will love deliver there, us. And your first verse that you were speaking about, about for the things that are seen are temporary. Yes. And this coronavirus is temporary. Yes, it's temporary. And you said it some, some time back. You said that no storm lasts forever. That's true. There's an end to every storm. Yes. But are we going to have faith in the storm? How are we going to come out? Yeah. It's like what the Word of God says. When He returns, will He find faith in the earth? And exactly that, because it says the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah. So sometimes we're so focused on the things we can see. Yeah. But what we can't see is eternal. Eternal. And we need to start working and and tapping into the things that are unseen mm. what god is doing he's working out you might say well i lost my job and all of this i i, I have we haven't got uh, much food mm. i want you to know that god's going to turn around your situation for the good yes. there, there's god speaking to somebody's heart to help you mm. god's speaking to some some boss that's going to phone you and say listen i want you to come work for me and this is what i'm going to pay you I'm going to pay you double mm. Friends, trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. But also, like, you can have earthly treasures, That's but it. at the same time, at the end of the day, this is all going to pass away. Yeah. Life is be but a vapor. Up. We're here today and gone tomorrow, and all these things are mm. going to be burnt and put away. But what are we what, putting our confidence what, but in? But what can, what is, tre- what is real treasure? What can we take yeah. to heaven with us? It's souls. Well, they, they, in the scripture the here faith. that we just read you just now, in Hebrew, uh, here are. it says here, the evidence of things, the confidence in the mm. things that are not seen. Mm. Let's put our confidence in the Lord. Amen. Let's put our confidence Hallelujah. in Him. Amen. Now, let's read Hebrews chapter 11, 27 to uh, 30. And it speaks about by faith. By faith, Moses, uh, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing him, seeing him, God, who is invisible. Amen. Okay? And it goes, it says again, verse 28, By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroys the firstborn should touch them. 29, By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempted to do so were drowned. It says here in verse 30, it says, By faith. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. By faith. Amen. And we need to be even through this by faith. Every day. Take that step of faith. Amen. You know, it's very easy to be negative and not speak words of faith. You know, friends, it takes courage to speak faith. Amen. But I want you to know that if you put your faith and your trust in the Lord, He will bring us through. Amen. Amen. And yes, Lorna will tell you, we do get down. You do. And you know what? Sometimes you lose your fog and you say, Hey, Lord, sorry, forgive me. Put your faith in the Lord. Amen. By faith. Never give up. Never give up. But Amen. it's also, like you're talking about the walls of Jericho. Yeah, like, you know what? Those walls of Jericho, they could physically see them. And yeah. they marched around. And my question to you is, why did the walls fall flat? Because they stopped the ground really hard, or because they yeah. blew the trumpets really hard. It was by faith. faith. They, they and, took those steps of faith. Yeah, and uh, the obedience. Obedience. What God's word said, they did it. And when we pray, things shift in the heavenly realms yeah. that move things here on earth. And if our if our faith is not rooted and grounded God, in the word of God, we fall right. over. It's like these beautiful flowers were growing in our garden. Yeah. And um. Now they chop down and they're in a vase and they're probably not going to last. But the roots, the, the piece of that plant that's still in the ground will, grow again. will continue to bear fruit. Amen. <laughs> so we'll continue. And where are we? Are we are we just the vase Christian or are we the Christian that has roots in the word of God that when the storm the storms Storm come pain. and when somebody comes with garden clippers and yeah, I, I comes pre- at I our preached life, on are something we sprouts in the very top? similar to this years back called the pot plant Christian. See, if, you, if you're just in a pot plant, you can be carried around and taken around and uh, you never actually get any grow roots. roots. You never grow roots. But God wants us to be an oak. 
that you got a good str- oak. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to get our roots down deep and be solid. Amen. Let's be solid in our faith. You know, also having a look at the scripture we're reading here now. By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. Friends, I want you to know something. This is speaking about Moses and the Israelite nation. His goal was to please God. And you know what pleases God is our faith. Amen. His goal was to please God. It was more important to him than pleasing Pharaoh. His goal was to please God. Amen. Your faith is what pleases God. Amen. Keep faithful. And in, even here, in the, by, by faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroys the firstborn should touch them. Through this, it speaks to me about our faithfulness to God. Are you going to come out of this uh, lockdown incubation time, this virus uh, spreading around the earth? Friends, that's going to be cast into the sea. Because the Bible says we're going to exercise our faith, even the size of a mustard seed, and we're going to see that thing going to be destroyed, going to be totally wiped out. But I want you to know, friends, how are we going to come out of this? Are we going to come out faithful? Are we going to come out faithful? Friends, I challenge you. Come out faithful. Amen. Faithful. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is there anything further you want to share on that scripture, Lord? I just absolutely love Hebrews chapter 11. Even if you go in the beginning Mm. portions of it, where it talks from the faith as a substance, and you go down and you see many Old Testament examples of people that had faith. And I think one of my favorite Bible characters here in this faith chapter is Enoch. He walked so closely with the Lord that eventually the Bible says he was not. Yeah, yeah, that was not. He wasn't even buried. It was like, whoop. He was just walked into the presence of God. I, I and believe, how close are we walking with God? And he did this by faith. By I faith, believe literally. Enoch is going to be one of the end time witnesses. Amen. Because he never died. So maybe he, soon we'll see him when Jesus comes back. Yeah. Jesus is coming soon. And are we going to walk so close with God that when the trumpet sounds, we will not be. That's it. We will be not. Just like Enoch. Like the days are growing close to the coming of the Lord. The Lord is coming very soon. And it's exciting days. You know what? We mustn't get discouraged when we see what is going around. We must be encouraged because it's it's been in the word of God before yes. time began and we must have our hearts settled Amen. that as we walk they, they even call being a Christian walking in the faith Yeah. so let us have so much faith and stick closer to God than Amen. ever before and just the different examples of the Old Testament characters I just love it there was the Enoch one here by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death mm. and did not and that he was not found because God had taken him for before he was taken yeah. he had this testimony he that he pleased, pleased God, God. <laughs> Do you please God? But, or, do, or are you looking out to please man? Oh, if I, if, if I do that, I'll get more likes and then that person will like me. And Come on, guys. Let us seek God to Amen. like us. Well, look what it says yeah. in the first ver- uh, f- uh, second verse of Hebrews 11. For by it, the elders obtained a good testimony. Yes. Enoch obtained a good testimony Amen. because his testimony pleased God. Mm-hmm. Moses Pharaoh was spitting out threats. You hear all kinds of threats nowadays. But friends, ultimately we must please God. But now listen to that verse. You just said ultimately we Mm. must please God. The pastor is saying ultimately you must please God. So how do I please God? Mm. It says... But without faith, it is impossible Possible. to please God. You've got to have faith. Without faith, that's it. It's It's not possible. Yeah, you've got to have faith. So how do we grow our faith? By the watering of the word. Amen. Like, like we're talking about a plant. Mum, Mum's helped my plants flourish since she's here because she walks around with that watering can. <laughs> and she waters. And she waters those flowers. And, and prays over them. And she prays over my flowers. <laughs> she's so sweet. Hallelujah. But you know what? If there was never a seed, 
watered, yeah. it would not grow. not grow. And the the word waters the seed of faith. With inside of you there is faith. Every man Every has been given a measure, measure of the of gift faith. of faith. That's but if it's unwatered, it lays dormant in That's the ground. Right. But if if it starts to sprout and then you neglect it, it can wither, it can wither and, die. and die. So be very careful to look after, after your faith. Because we want to ultimately please God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 24 through to 28. Romans, Romans chapter Sorry, 8. I can stay in uh, Hebrews all day. <laughs> Where did you say Romans, Romans chapter 8? Romans chapter 8. Uh, this is another one. Romans chapter 8. Principles. It says here, verse, verse 24 through to 28. Okay. It says here, for we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Sure. For why does one still hope for that what he sees but if we hope for what we do not see we eagerly wait for it with perseverance mm. it's faith even our salvation yeah. is all by faith it says yeah likewise the spirit also helps us in our weaknesses for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered wow. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Mm. Verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Mm. Friends, when we are praying, we must pray by faith. Mm. When we make our request known to God, we must pray by faith and believe that what we speak and what we say and what we declare it will come to pass. Amen. That's faith. Another thing there that you, you said in that verse was the word love. Yeah. And it was verse 28. Now we know that all things work together for good to those who love, love God. God. And if you haven't got love, your faith is just a clanging gong. Yeah. It's nothing like we see in Corinthians. Exactly. And so these three remain mm. faith, faith hope, hope and love, love. but the greatest, greatest of, is love yeah. so if you do things if i have faith to move the mountain yeah but you've got no but love. i have no love i'm actually nothing a clanging symbol uh, and a gonging gong you know and <laughs> everything we do has to be motivated by love or those works are just dead that's right you know Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses. Yes. The Holy Spirit's there to come alongside you and comfort yes. you. And He'll help you build up we your faith. We are human after We all. are human. <laughs> but friends, let me tell you something. He'll lift us up. Likewise, Praise the Spirit the also helps us in our weaknesses. In our weakness. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us mm -hmm. with groanings which cannot be uttered. Friends, when you don't know what to pray, you don't know what to do about some of the regulations that are happening. Let the Holy Spirit give you peace. Let your faith not dwindle in this time. Some of the most powerful prayers mm. are just, oh, like groaning. Oh. Because God reads your spirit. Yes. And some of the most powerful prayers are actually tears. Tears. And God says he holds your tears in the bottle. Yes. And those tears not are literally... Never forgotten. Never forgotten. And even God sees that as faith. So I just believe there's somebody today listening that is just crying about something. You've laid it before the Lord and you feel like you want to lose hope. Mm. But I want to just say it to you, don't lose hope. Don't, lose hope. don't give up. Don't Be ignited give by love and Thank faith you, Jesus. from the word of God. Hallelujah. Know that God has got you. Amen. Amen. He'll never leave nor forsake no. you. So friends, I end off with the scripture we started off with. Now, faith is the substance of things Amen. hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good, good testimony. testimony. By faith mm -hmm. we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Amen. So that the things which are seen are not made of the things Amen. which are invisible. And we end off with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 says, For we walk by faith. And not basat. Can, can I say one more verse? Go for no, it. you said last verse. <laughs> now squeeze you one more. You're welcome. It says, if you're in your Romans 8, go down a little bit. It says, 
Who shall separate us from the love of God in Christ? Shall tribulation, mm. this tribulation, wow. or shall distress, or persecution, or famine, mm. or nakedness, or peril, or sword, or mm. plague, mm. or coronavirus? Oh. As it is written, for your sakes we are killed all day long, mm. and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than the conquerors, conquerors through, through him, him who loved, loved us. us. For I am persuaded, persuaded that neither death, death nor, nor life, nor angels, angels nor, nor principalities, nor powers, nor, powers, nor things present, present, nor things, things to, to come, come nor height, nor, nor depth, death. nor any created yes. thing shall be able to separate Hallelujah. us from the love of God, which is in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus our Glory Lord, to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. the Lord. What a wonderful Bible study. I hope study that tonight. encouraged you. Hey, yes, it encouraged me. Did it encourage you, Mom? Yes. Isaac, were you encouraged? Praise Lift the Lord. Our heads to be yes, in God's word. You know, Turn up and keep praising. <laughs> you know what we did the other evening when we were having communion there in Mom's house? We were going, we were just praying the, praying the Psalms. Uh, and then we started to sing the Psalms. You know, friends, you can encourage yourself in the Lord. And I can just imagine how David encouraged himself in the Lord. You know, when he Nothing became... Nothing like a trial to make a new song come That's out right, of you. Eh? And so, friends, I <laughs> want to encourage you, you don't you give up. It? Don't give and up. And if you have prayer requests, please put them in the comments. Yes. We love you guys. Yes. And we're missing you so Praise much. Praise the Lord. Well, we love you so much. But we still feel the bonds oh. of love. And keep the faith. Yes. And stay strong and in the Lord. And don't... Don't lose heart. Amen. Friends, if I can give you some of the prayer requests uh, so that we can keep praying. Um, I'm going to ask uh, for mom. You can pray for the church. Yes. But this is for the global church. This is for the church around all the around the world. Pray uh, that the bride the, of Christ. Yeah, for the bride of Christ. Praise God for the thousands of families that are needing feeding that the churches have been able to help yes. wherever possible uh, through local churches that local churches will get that permission Amen. to to stand up and be uh, part of this the hands let, that let care. us yeah the hands that care mm -hmm. uh, and then also pray for God's provision to continue through the giving of believers Amen. the provision pray for the supernatural multiplication of existing resources everywhere that the resources won't run out amen and pray for the leading of the holy spirit amen. we need the leading of the holy spirit hallelujah praise the lord lorna you can pray for leaders okay pray for wisdom and guidance according to 1 timothy verse uh, chapter 2 verse 2 uh, pray that the uh, corrupt leaders will be exposed Pray that there will be unity and encouragement. Pray that leaders will hear from God. Pray for leaders to hear from God. Then I'm going to uh, pray for the spiritual battles. Uh, ask God for, uh, to, to open up spiritual eyes. Our spiritual eyes to be opened. Open up the eyes of the people, the spiritual eyes of the people to see the spiritual battle. That is happening in this country. We pray for God's leading. That God will begin to open the people's eyes. Amen. Pray God that God angel. will reveal to believers the high places. Mm -hmm. The high places and the strongholds. Where Satan and his followers, uh, fo followers rule for these high places and strongholds will be pulled down. Amen. We pray for the pulling down in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Pray for the church to be revived. Amen. And to stand in the gap for the nation, according to Ezekiel chapter 22, Amen. verse 30. Isaac, you're going to pray for the education, education of the young people, education of the children, Amen. for wisdom regarding students going back to school. Let there be wisdom in all of this. Amen. And for courage to continue and not give up. I know that I've heard of so many young people saying, well, I'm going to just take a gap here. Don't be silly. Go and study. Be faithful. Amen. Be committed. Get into those books. Keep on studying. Don't give up. Mm. Stay faithful. When, they, when, when, when you can, get online. Keep studying. Stay faithful. Never give up. Amen. And keep on praying for the frontline workers. Mm. Keep on praying for those that are in the medical and the essential services. 
keep on praying for families. Amen. Now, friends, there's a lot to be done. Let's do it as unto the, uh, to the glory of God. And I really want to encourage you, remain faithful to God. Amen. The Lord is for us and He's not against us. He loves you. Thank you for being with us this evening. And I encourage you, let's keep strong in the Lord. Amen. Let's keep on having faith. Let's remain faithful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Father, I just thank you for each one here this evening. Hallelujah. I pray for your special blessing. And as we go down on our knees and begin to pray right now, take over, move by your Holy Spirit, lead and guide us by your Holy Spirit. Thank you for this time right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen and amen remember friends jesus christ is lord amen. and he'll never leave you nor forsake you god Hallelujah. bless you love you, love you. god bless you Miss amen you. miss you guys